Something happening with this one. I don't feel much pulling, but it looks like it's moving. Oh yeah. Not very big, but it's something. Little uh, channel cat, not more than about 14 or 15 inches. I caught this guy in one of these bait saver hooks. I'll show it to you if I can get it out of his mouth. <clears throat> bait saver hooks have a little bait saver wire here that comes around. Um, I've done another video of of how how they work, but basically you put the bait on, then you bring the bait saver wire around. The front of the hook and then you can there's a little sleeve on it that you can draw it tight this one here ain't working too well because the fish uh, kind of bent it out of shape but um, it's handy for for baits like chicken liver and any other bait that's hard to keep on the hook the key is with chicken liver if you're using a bait saver hook is don't put too big of a glob on keep it a little smaller and make sure you spread the bait saver wire pretty good get that chicken liver in between those wires if you do that uh, it should stay put there regardless of how how far or how hard you cast it. Grand Lake St. Mary's has been the subject of a lot of hand wringing and a lot of debate over the past three or four years. They've had a good bit of trouble with uh, algae and the water has become uh, toxic to the point where um, they've actually posted signs to warn people not to swim. Um, typically that occurs as it gets warmer uh, toward the summer. Uh, in the spring typically it's not too bad but then as they keep testing it it gets worse as the algae starts to bloom. Now this year it's been looking somewhat better. Um, usually when I'm out in Ohio this time of the year uh, the algae is on the top of the water. Um, on the shore areas uh, it's, it's covering the top of the water. Uh, you have a pretty bad smell to it and um, even some fish dying. Well this year it's not nearly as bad. Um, I don't see any algae on top of the water although I can see a little bit just underneath so I wonder if we're just getting to that point where it's going to start to get bad. And um, some have said that you know the reason for this is that the efforts are working but then others would argue that it's just because of the fact that that there's been cold weather for later this year than, than usual. So. Uh, we'll see how it all works out. Um, it's kind of a shame. It's a, it's a nice lake. There's lots of economic benefits to the area having the lake working well. And um, so hopefully uh, they can get it cleaned up and uh, make it more usable. Here we got something happening. Had this one tossed out right along the rocks. Looks like I got something on it. Feels like it could be a little more substantial than the last one. But it doesn't feel real big. Ooh. Yeah, it has a little more size. Still a small one though. Probably a couple lower twenty inches. Settle down there, buddy. Settle down. A little more size than the last one. 
I got this on a bait saver hook just like the last time. This is a, a three-odd hook and uh, had some chicken liver on it and seemed to do the job.